sure to cook. Hey, today we're gonna be doing meatball subs, but we're gonna do everything homemade. Then I'm gonna add a little Creole seasoning inside of there. I'm gonna give this a great stare. Look at that, guys. I am good to go. I hear you, me. Yes. Oh my God, that is wonderful. So, that was about four to five. Come back. Bye. Welcome back to another episode of Be Sure to Cook. Today, we're gonna to be making a homemade chocolate cake with chocolate buttercream icing. So stay tuned and let's do this. Let's start by making our frosting first. Let's go over our ingredients. We're gonna be needing three cups of confectionate sugar, a whole tablespoon of cocoa powder of your choice, a teaspoon of vanilla, and we're gonna be using some semi-sweet chocolates, but we're gonna actually take these and melt this. And you want two ounces of this. So for a bar that says four ounces, just cut it in half and you got two ounces. And then we're gonna be using some unsweetened salted butter. And we're gonna be using not a whole tablespoon, not the line, but you wanna go in between the line, we're gonna be using a teaspoon because a tablespoon, it'll be too much. And three fourths teaspoon of milk if you need it. If not, just do little droplets. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, I'm opening this up and I'm gonna do a teaspoon. I'm cutting. I've got uh, some water over here. It's in a bowl and I've got uh, halfway filled up in a pot and I've got a glass bowl on top because I'm gonna melt this butter. So let's go over to the other side. Okay, so here's my hot water in a just a regular saucepan and I cover enough where the water can touch the glass but I don't want it boiling I've got it on a very very low heat and I'm just gonna melt that butter see how that butter's already starting to melt we're gonna melt this butter first and get that melted in the meantime let's cut our chocolate okay so we're gonna open up our chocolate because some of this we're gonna save I got like a little baggie that I take Ooh. I like those little freezer bags. You know, you can get the large freezer bags or you can get the small ones or you can get the snack, snack sizes. I've got the little small ones. I love those. Oh my God, you come in my kitchen and every time you open up my refrigerator or freezer, you're gonna see one of those bags. It's got all kind of good stuff that I always say. So I need to, I'm just gonna peel all of this off. Right, yeah. See, it's already for you, it's already in bars. So. It cut, these are two bars that broke off. There's another two bars. I'm going to take it and I'm going to use these two bars here and I'm going to wrap this chocolate up. Okay, so after we cut our, you know, mixed up our bars here, and we, these are very convenient because they came in blocks. So, you know, if it's a four ounce, the whole bar is a four ounce. So you would break it down. So four of these would be two ounces because that's half of the bar. And then three ounces, if it's at whatever, you know, you just break off the bars and it's really, really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start putting all four of my bars in here. And let it sit in this delicious, un, it's butter that I have in here. And I like that butter because it does, it's, it's unsalted butter. And we're just going to melt that together. Ooh, yeah, that's going to be really, really good. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. This is for my icing. So let's just keep stirring and let's melt this until this is nice, smooth, and creamy. Okay, this didn't take long at all. So now, it just gave me enough time to set up and get my other stuff together so I can go ahead and start mixing this. So we're going to take this off and let it set. We want it to cool. Okay, the rest of that butter, one stick of butter is going in to here. We're going to beat this up with our mixer so it's going to be a little noisy. Okay. 
Okay, now we're gonna be adding our sugar. So we're gonna, this is the old fashioned way. I do have a bigger mixer, but I like doing things the old fashioned way. So I'm gonna take my mixer and I'm gonna turn it on, but I'm holding it. I, I mean, you can't probably do this, but I can. I've been cooking for so long. I'm gonna just start adding half or just a little bit at a time, getting this sugar combined. Okay, so I'm just gonna slowly just beat this butter into my mix. Get the butter all in there, cream. And I'm gonna have to scrape down the bow. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of it in. Okay. Getting rid of all of this confection sugar. It's in my other bowl here. All right, let's put this to the side. And let's begin to mix this up slowly also. One teaspoon of vanilla, extra virgin vanilla. The milk, add more milk if you need it, okay, adding milk is needed, so for this it took another two teaspoon, a teaspoon of another milk, so it's all together that's two tablespoons of milk. And I'm mixing it, and it's just the way I want it. Okay, getting that butter. So now, we're gonna sprinkle in that cocoa here. We're gonna go ahead and keep mixing this. Okay, and I'm gonna scrape down the sides here. Keep mixing that in, smashing as I go. Okay, this is light. Now we're gonna add in that great chocolate that we made. Oh, it's gonna be really good. We're gonna put all that in there. We're gonna get it all out and put all that great chocolate in here, melt that. That's gonna make it even better. Alrighty. Let me use this spatula here to scrape off half of the chocolate. I left that spatula in there. I should have took that out. So we're scraping spatula on spatulas. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mix all this up. And we're going to put this on high and let it grip. Alrighty, so this is creamy, and if it keeps getting thick, you can just add just a little half teaspoon of milk every time until it gets to your consistency. If it's not chocolate enough for you, 
keep tasting it. You know, get a little spoon, keep tasting it, put a little dab on your hand, keep tasting it. Taste your, your food, see how it tastes. If it doesn't taste good to you, always add more. You can't take out, but you can always add, just like everybody else says. So I tasted it, it didn't have enough chocolate. Melt some more chocolate, put some more cocoa powder in it. That's what I've got, I've got Hershey's cocoa powder, but you can get any type of cocoa powder. Keep putting it in there, mixing it. You know, you, you got enough butter, you know, you're using the milk, you know, you can use whole milk. I happen to use, uh, you know, just, you know, 2% milk. You can use whole milk, you can use skin milk. It's up to you, just, you know, put it in there until you know when you want your icing to be smooth or creamy. Uh, if it don't taste like that's enough uh, vanilla, add another half teaspoon of vanilla or a whole teaspoon of vanilla. You know, just keep adding until it tastes good to you because that's what's important. What does it taste like to you? If it tastes fine and that's enough chocolate, you don't like a lot of chocolate, and you did it the first time and that's great and you smooth it out with the milk, so just keep putting a little dab of milk in there, you know, like a little dab of it and then beat it up and make it, it, it gets thinner and thinner. It's, it's good. But if it doesn't taste good, do what you think. So that's what we did. I added a little bit more chocolate. So you remember those four ounces? I just turned around and just used, uh, I did two. So I melted the other two ounces and I just put that in there and made that because I really like it chocolate. And I'm gonna, I'm, I melted some more chocolate because I'm gonna make my cake with it. And I'm gonna be using the same ingredients, the same cocoa powder, all of that. So I like chocolate, you know what I'm saying? And if you don't think it's chocolate enough when you do your cake, if you don't, take some sweet semi chocolates, you know, the little bitty, bitty and mini ones. And you know, you can sprinkle that on top if you want, after you do your cake. And it depends on how you want your chocolate. But this hat came out, guys. And it, it's just it's enough chocolate and it tastes so good. It tastes so good. You just mix that up. Okay, we're going to put this in a bowl. We're going to put this in another bowl, a cleaner bowl. Get rid of this bowl. We're going to wrap this up, and we're going to set this to the side, and we're going to be making our cake now. Below your screen is going to be all the ingredients. Okay, two cups of all-purpose flour, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna sift this flour because I like doing it, just to give me something to do. I love doing it. <laughs> and it makes it a lighter and better, better cake to me. And it's really good because I love this. My, my husband bought this a couple years ago and I use it for everything It's big. I use this for all kinds of stuff. Bacon, I use it to drain my vegetables. I just use it. So this is a good little sifter instead of getting the one that you hold and you have to you know, pulse all the time. It's just like a sifter and I love it. Okay, so I got my dry ingredients. So this is two cups of, of all-purpose flour. And then also to that, we're adding two cups of sugar. Now I'm, I'm doing the sugar, but I'm hoping that this sugar will do the same here because yeah, I'm just gonna sift the sugar also. <laughs> I don't like lumps, you know what I'm saying? And see that? That's crystal lumps. I don't need that. I'm going to throw that away. You never know what you're going to get out of sugar. In another bowl, I got one teaspoon of salt. Now, you can use any type of salt that you want to. I'm using uh, sea salt. It's a little bit bigger, so the one tablespoon of that should measure up. Actually, if you grind it, it's lesser, but I'm using the sea salt. Make sure that salt was one teaspoon, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda I'm, I don't have to sift everything and you don't but I do just because like I said I like it <laughs> two teaspoons of baking powder I don't know why that fell in there on my hand but that's okay all right Three-fourths cups of unsweetened cocoa, cocoa powder. Three-fourths cups. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's the good stuff there, guys. So you want to sift that because sometimes it gets lumpy. You don't want lumps. This is all going in a big, large bow. Okay, so I'm just going to mix all of this up. 
and make sure it's mixed and combined well. So I'm just gonna take a spatula or spoon or whatever you have and you want this to mix this up really, really good. And I'm gonna transfer this to another bowl because I am going to need this bowl to cream my butter. So I'm gonna try, after I mix this up really good, make sure I get all my cocoa powder and everything. Make sure you're mixing it up. Make sure you mix it up uh, very evenly because you got your cocoa powder in there and you want that to go. But the most important thing is your uh, Don't forget to stir it. I didn't tell you that, but it has to be in hot water, which it is. You can see the steam coming out there. Okay, let that sit. Then let's do our butter. Now we have, all right. So it's like, if you're doing vegetable, they say like a half a cup. So this is what I'm using, like a cup or a half a cup of oil. And see how smooth that is? Oh yeah. Okay, to this, I'm going to be adding my eggs. So I'm going to add in one egg at a time. And I'm going to start beating it and mixing it with my butter. As I go. So it's just three large eggs. If they're really, really large, you can manage to. My last egg there. And I just want to get that combined. Okay, one cup of milk. You can use skin. You can use uh, whole. You can use low fat you can use any type of milk you you prefer and i've got that going my butter i like to mix everything up together okay that's the chocolate that i mixed up and i made it i melted i'm just going to add that chocolate and let it pour right into the cake i hope you all see this my cameraman I'm in his way <laughs> sorry cameraman <laughs> okay so that's the the bowl of chocolate he can get a good look of it as I sit it down it's gonna scrape this out this was the sweet semi chocolate that I had melted I'm sorry you didn't see me pour that really good sorry what I do is I just lift this up and I take my beater and I let that beat on the side of the chocolate here. You got, I am, you look. Right. I like to beat my cakes until first it starts off like a darker, and then I beat it until it's a, a velvety, velvety lighter color. And that makes sure that it's been beat very, very well. I do all my cakes like this. It makes it really, really moist. So I beat it about maybe a good five or ten minutes. Then I'm going to reduce the speed. And I'm going to keep reducing the speed because I got up high. And I'm just going to keep reducing the speed and lifting it a little bit out of it more and more and more. And that's on a low. I'm taking it to the end and I'm beating it up and then I turn it off and I make sure my beaters are, are nice and clean. You remember that? I got two spatulas over here I'm working with. Okay, and this is the cake right here, guys. Okay, these are my round pans. These are an eight inch baking pan. You can use whatever you want. I'm just using two of these and I got some spray. I've got this... Uh, baking spray where it comes with flour and oil together it's supposed to be some good stuff which I've used it before or you can just use non-stick spray I use that too but I'm just gonna spray this equally all around make sure you get the edges 
because that's important to get the edges. Make sure I don't want nothing to stick. <laughs> I want to make these cakes even. I try to make them even. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pan and I'm going to pour about a whole two cups of cake mix into my mixer here. I'm into my, oh, come on now. I hate it when it gets in on the sides like that. There we go. That's two cups, and I'm just going to pour that two cups in here so it can be evenly mixed, evenly distributed. I'm going to take my spatula, get all of that out. Okay. Now I'm going to do the other one. Don't forget about your neighbors or your friends or your mom for that extra cake. I got cake mix on my hands, but hey, 350 degrees for about 35 minutes. Actually, it depends on your oven. If your oven cooks faster, you want to just keep checking every about 15 minutes. Stick a toothpick in. If it comes out clean, it is good. If it comes out just a little bitty, tiny, tiny more, but it looks like it's almost done, still take it out because if you take it out, it's still cooking. So make sure it doesn't overcook and get dry. So you want to make sure it's at that moist stage. So stick a toothpick in. If it's dry and it comes out with no cake mix, take them out immediately because they're still going to cook and it might be over dry. But you want it that little bit of wetness. I mean that tiny bit. So 350 degrees for about 35 minutes. Okay, these are my cakes that just came out of the oven and I took them out of my eight inch pan. Now that cup and a half of cake mix that I put in the pan, uh, it might come up a little bit, it might go over. So if you want to just use, just use a cup or maybe a cup and three fourths cup just to get it nice and firm in the eight inch. If you're using a nine inch pan, yes, use a cup and a half. Uh, cake mix you can pour into your pans. Make sure your pans are butter and they come out just like that evenly and nothing wrong with it. Okay, so these are the cakes. So to test them, I was using a little paring knife and I just stuck it in and it wasn't done so I left it in there and I was kept checking it so I kept sticking them in the same spot. So that's where you see those at. But we're going to take our famous icing. Now look guys, I'm not originally a uh, person that can decorate <laughs> so I'm not a good decorator but I'm gonna try to spread this on to the best of my spreading ability I, that I can do because I'm not a decorator and I want to be a decorator actually I'm a good old fashioned cook as long as it tastes good but the appearance of the cake I'm not a decorator so we're gonna just try to spread this on you know a little bit uh, just like I would Okay, this is that icing that we made and I'm using a spoon. I wanna stir this to make sure that this icing that we made is still spreadable and still loose. It's not that thick. And if it does, just add a little milk, mix it up. That's what I do. Okay, so what we're gonna do, usually people cut it and do all that. I'm not gonna do that because like I said, I'm not your, your you know, I can't design like all that, but hey, the design might be terrible, but the cake is going to be delicious. So I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to take a regular, my regular cooking knife because I don't know any other way. See how the cake is moist and you get those crumbles because I make it really moist. I beat it to death. I beat my cakes to death. And when I mean beat, I mean... You know, I take it and I actually take the blender a little longer than normal people. It makes my cakes more smoother. So look at that. I'm just going to add. Ooh. Okay, so what I did with this, I took my knife and got some boiling water, hot water. That piece there is going to be a little, it's a little boo-boo. Like I told you all, I am not a designer. I can't do that really good. So <clears throat> I took some hot boiling water and I put it inside of my uh, water and let this, the, the knife glide over. 
Actually, I need a really baking tool here that I don't have. Okay, now that I got that spread it on there, like I said, I got this other cake here that I'm just gonna plop that down on there. Okay, so let's try to make that a little bit better. Okay, because the bottom really doesn't matter. It's the top that matters. But like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a designer. I don't know how to design good. And I spread the cake. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to spread this on the best of my spreading abilities. I'm not really good. And I keep saying that over and over. So, I'm just gonna do it like I would. I mean, it's not gonna look perfect. And it's gonna look really bad looking because I'm not a spreader. But I'm gonna try. Okay, so we did this. We did this together. I didn't make this cake alone. You helped. You and me. So hey guys, come back next time so we can make great more dishes together. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Come back again. I'll see you next time. Bye.